Welcome to TV station of Yijin Feng Shui Weixin TV. Happy Chinese New Year! Wish you a wonderful New Year! Today is January 13th, 2017, and the third day of the Chinese New Year. This is Fiona serving you the news of new religion of the world, Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao of this week. Following the instruction of Wang Chan Lao Zu and Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi, for today's Weixin English News, we are serving you a review of the important news events in the past year. There are eight categories. Without further ado, let's begin with our first section, Important Constructions of Weixin Shenjiao. Before Grandmaster Hu Yuanchen started his preaching career, he established Zhongxing Survey, the first survey company of Taiwan in 1965. The company's business included urban planning, road development, aero surveying, and land surveying. Grandmaster also taught surveying practice in Guanghua Vocational School. Since January 15, 1983, in the past 34 years, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi has been participating in designing all the major construction plans and representative architectures. 34 years ago, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi opened the Southern Heaven Gate at the Sky Realm above Da Wu Mountain in eastern Taiwan. Since then, Wang Chan Lao Zhu has returned to the Saha world, descended to Earth, and has been enlightening human beings with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi in one. The history of Weixin Shenjiao started 34 years ago, and the 48 great wishes of world peace is still developing. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi has vowed to construct an exact same Southern Heaven Gate as the one in Devaloka in our world. He furthermore praised the great virtue and power of the 33 heavenly kings of the Southern Heaven and the magnificent Zen key of the Southern Heaven Gate in Tiande Sutra. The core religious value of Weixin Shenzhou is catastrophe elimination. On October 17, 2016 of the lunar calendar, for peace of all human race, Weixin Shenzhou erected the holy seat of world peace disaster elimination, Da Tianzun. Grandmaster Hu Yuan Chan Shi instructed, following the sacred rite revealed by Wang Chan Lao Zu, on May 5th of the lunar calendar, we located the holy seat of disaster elimination, Da Tianzun. Our goal is to resolve the wars around the world. Needless to say that there have been 3,762 times large and small-scale wars in the past 5,000 years of the Chinese history, 816 times large and small-scale wars around the world. Therefore, we are erecting the holy seat of disaster elimination, Da Tianzun, at the Golden Dragon Node next to the heavenly altar of Xianfo Temple. The 33 heavenly kings of Southern Heaven are recorded in Tian De Sutra of Weixin Shenzhou. Reciting Tian De Sutra can gain blessings and empowerment from the Southern Heaven 33 heavenly kings. Weixin virtuous fellow Bing Xian Cai, with his talent, drew the holy pictures of the 33 heavenly kings. After a long period, the holy icons were completed by professional Buddhist statue craftsmen. The starting point of World Peace Taizhong Temple, Abbot Master Yuan Yi followed the instruction of Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi and located the holy icons of the 33 heavenly kings of Southern Heaven. Starting from the third floor where the holy seat of the first king, the water king is, to the eighth floor, Wang Chan Lao Zu Hall, where the Jade Emperor Da Tianzun is. People follow this order and piously pay tribute to the 33 heavenly kings and pray for blessings. At Weixin Boulevard of Weixin Shenzhou Bagua Holy City, the Dean, Tang Ming Zhang of the Planning Yuan administered the location of the 33 heavenly kings of the Southern Heaven. Everyone was devoted to locating the holy icons of the heavenly kings. The religious construction of Bagua Holy City was completed successfully. In 2016, Grandmaster Hu Yuan Chan Shi instructed his Weixin disciples that 2017 is the start of the next 34 years of Weixin Shenzhou. He encouraged the Weixin virtuous fellows and disciples to self-practice humbly and devote themselves to promoting the Dharma to the international community. 
To eternally preserve the Dharma of Wei Xin Shen Zhao and Wang Chan Lao Zu, on August 26, 2016, the foundation stone laying ceremony of Wang Chan Lao Zu Holy Golden Statue was held. The ceremony drew the curtain of the later construction regarding to Wang Chan Lao Zu Holy Golden Statue. During the ceremony, the World Peace Prayer was read to eliminate disasters, hope for harvest, and the elimination of famines and wars. Wei Xin Shen Zhao Da Fan Temple is located at Chongling Village of Xinzhu County. Abbot Yuan Tong Chan Shi of Da Fan Temple is the first disciple of Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi. After a long wait for the construction of the branch temple, the right time has finally come and matured. Following the revelation of Wang Chan Lao Zu, at 11.10 a.m. February 29, 2016, the construction ceremony of Wei Xin Main Hall and San Yuan Golden Hall was held. Featuring with the design of a temple within the temple to construct the Wei Xin Main Hall, the main structure of Wei Xin Main Hall and the Medicine Buddha in the palace and the incense burner are presented in special gold painting skill. It is the only branch temple that is characterized with a design of a temple within a temple. It is indeed very special. The representative architectures of Wei Xin Shen Jiao serve as spiritual symbols of our religion. They are like beings of light, leaving treasurable marks for every phase of the religious affair development. For session two, we are looking back to the international religious cultural exchanges. During the Chinese New Year of 2016, 99 religious leaders coming from 26 countries around the world and representatives of political or non-governmental organizations gathered together in Taiwan to participate in the first Asia-Pacific Religious Freedom Forum Conference on February 17th. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi recited Wang Chan Lao Zu praise and World Peace Prayer to pray to the deities and heavenly sages to overwatch peace and harmony of the mundane pure land, the earth, during the opening ceremony on February 18th. On Saturday, February 20th, more than 20 religious leaders from the globe visited headquarters Xianfo Temple, accompanied by foreign language guides of Wei Xin Shen Zhao. The guests include the Reverend Bernard Munono Myombe of Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace of the Holy See, Katrina Lantos-Wet, the chairperson of Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice, Vice President Cody Ness of China Aid, and other prestigious leaders. After co-organizing Asia-Pacific Religious Freedom Forum, Wei Xin Shen Zhao becomes more devoted than ever to international Dharma affairs. Finally, on January 4, 2017, Wei Xin Shen Zhao hosted the International New Religion Forum. Scholars from Korea, France, the United States, Italy, Lithuania were invited. The goal of the forum was to propagate Chinese Yi Jing Feng Shui wisdom in Taiwan and its development in the past, present, and future. Through inspiring discussions and exchanges, the topics were well presented with ample views and information. The guests from the forum, the Oversea Representative Group of the Ancestors Worship Ceremony, Spain Representative Group, and Guigu Cultural Research Association Representative Group of Wu Di also gained a more profound understanding of the religious culture of Wei Xin Shen Zhao after visiting each branch temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. Moving on to section 3, we are paying attention in particular to the new development of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Media. Wei Xin English News officially made our first broadcast on September 5, 2016. Let's take a look at the following report. Wei Xin TV is a Wei Xin Shen Jiao public service broadcaster. Its mission is that, propagating the Chinese culture of Yi Jing Feng Shui in the world. Weixin TV station launched Weixin News on November 5, 2011. In the past five years, every branch temple has joined and cooperated with others to success the large-scale activities by teamwork. On September 5, 2016, the trial was ripe. Weixin TV launched Weixin English News to broadcast and preach the regional culture of Weixin Shenzhou around the world. Ms. Zhang Xingfang, the chief of Weixin Shen Jiao Efforts Research Center, was appointed as the anchor of Weixin English News. 
Many virtuous fellows help to translate Weijing news to English and join the translation team. They have accumulated a vast amount of experience and knowledge of Yi Jing Feng Shui together. Also, they overcome the difficulties in translation work of professional regional culture and intended to improve operational mechanism step by step. They all follow the instruction of Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, propagate the hard dharma of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, and the wisdom of sage to benefit all sentient beings in the world. The new religion of the world, the Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao, boasts an abundant and profound religious culture, including Yijin Feng Shui, education, and religious belief. Often faced with others' curiosity and questions, Weixin English News are here providing you with more diverse and sufficient information to understand the development and latest events of the world of Weixin Shenjiao. Let's watch session four. Weixin Shenjiao Yijin Feng Shui Academic Education is changed with Korea and its development. The new religions movement in Republic of Korea became one of popular topics for study of new religion of East Asia. In 2016, Weixin Shenjiao had many years key moments of interactions with Republic of Korea. Today, we recall two key events which opened such prosperous interactions from 2014 to 2016. The first event was the World Alliances of Religions Peace Summit, which was held in September 2014 in Seoul. The event was attended. Attended by former and current heads of state, including president, vice president, prime ministers, political and religious leader, the member of the youngs and women's groups from all around the world, the opening ceremony was held at Seoul Olympic Stadium and attended by approximately 200,000 people. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi was nominated for Nobel Peace Prize in 2012. Therefore, HWPL Chairman of organized the World Alliances of Religions Peace Summit. They invited Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi to attend the biggest event for peace. Korean TV station and media interviewed with Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi. He promoted Chinese culture of orthodoxy, Yi Jing, profound wisdom. Everyone and children learn Yi Jing. World will be in peace. The second one was the international conference, which was co-organized by the Centers for Studies on New Religions and held in July 2016. Fiona Xinfang Zhang, the director of research and development center for religions affair, published nationalities and the world, the three teachings and the way of changes, religious connotations of Taiwan, Weixin Shenjiao, and South Korea, the Shenzhen Yihui. Fiona Xinfang Zhang gave a professional speech on the international conference, and her article led foreign scholars feel interesting about Weixin Shenjiao. With these two important events, Weixin Shenjiao opened a new page of international interactions in religions and educations. Weixin Shenjiao had prosperous talking with Daqian College, Kim Bak Da Hakyong, Wang Guang Da Hakyong, and Oriental Classical Research Association of Korea in 2016. The Chancellor of Wang Guang Da Hakyong Jin Dao Zong said, "All human beings should treat each other in harmonious at any time and everywhere. In the future, we should do more efforts to purify minds and improve political and economic environment." Weixin Shenjiao tells Yi Jin to practice humanitarian thought and look for world war peace. One of the doctrine of Wang Buddhism told people that cause and effect and karma, which is very close to one of core value of Yi Jin. Therefore, I sincerely hope Wang Guang Da Hakyong. Wang Buddhism, Weixin Shenjiao, and Weixin Shenjiao College; those four parties could share religions and wisdom, and allocate its resources together to cultivate our minds and create world peace. Furthermore, Weixin TV station exchange agreement signed with Wang Buddhism Broadcasting System, which had opened a new path for religions TV station cooperation. We all believe that the happiness and world peace were derived from Chinese culture of orthodoxy, Yi Jing Feng Shui, and Wang Chan Lao Tzu's profound wisdom. It is also a solid foundation for promoting eternal world peace. The fifth session is linked to the religious core value of Weixin Shenjiao. The providence of eliminating disasters and resolving grievances. How do we practice and realize this providence? Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi instructs that holding ritual is a fine way to eliminate disasters. 
Now, let's take a look at the report on Weixin Shenjiao Special Rituals on Disasters Elimination. The central talent of a new religion of the world, Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao, is that eliminating a likely catastrophe and reducing multiple disasters. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi instructs that people of all nations wish for the world peace. The top priority missions which have committed to ending war hunger and words, to resolving grievances and anomalies for all people around the world. Over time, Wei Xin Shen Jiao's mission starts with Chinese Nationality United Answer to Worship Ceremony and other variety prayer and chanting service with ceremony of right. Wei Xin Shen Jiao value the ceremony and ritual with incredible religion disaster reduction power, supported by Buddha and the Bodhisattvas to resolve criminals and anonymous, and the benefit the underworld and the human world, and hopes all spring return to their heart. The ceremony was unveiling the monument of Changjing Mountain, Xianfu Temple, World Peace Eliminate Disaster Da Tianzhen, took place at Dragon Boat Festival on Lunar Calendar May 5, 2016. Wei Xin Shen Jiao, all virtuous pharaohs made a significant progress, advanced on recite Guigu Immortal Master Heavenly Virtue Sutra over 720,000 times. There are total 899,000 tons of Russia stamen ashes treasure and burn it around 15 hours to offer our ancestor of Chinese nationality and sincerely wish for eliminating catastrophe and reducing disasters, cross trade, peace, and war as a family. Another critical project Russia was named in Shenlian Xu Ren Springing Breeze, Double Night Festival Ashes Treasures. Russia with holy water nourishment Russia in Chongyang Festival 2016. The main purpose have come to ending hunger and wars for all people around the world. We offer Asia treasures to 30 pigs of Hua Yan in Double Night Chongyang Festival since 2014. Asia treasures spray and serve to the ground to peace and pray for eliminating catastrophe and disaster reduction and ending hunger and war around the world. In general, disaster reduction project, rising ceremony has become a central part of Wei Xin Shen Jiao religion's culture. Take Jiao year, for instance, not only the practice of rising ceremony on double three, double five, double seven, double nine, and double ten lunar months, but also a historical record of devoting efforts to the success of the ceremony. The coding mission of eliminating catastrophe and disaster reduction documentary is an expression of Wei Xin Shen Jiao culture and is tend to documentary all aspects of reality progress of blessing ceremony and rituals to record the amount of reciting sutras for ending war hunger and words to create world peace. Taiwanese former Vice President Andrew has been broadcasted it in the world as well. Take a break. We will come back soon. Moving on to the sixth section, Wei Xin Shen Jiao International Art and Culture Exchange. On June 17, 2016, we had friends from far away. Longren Traditional Gukian Culture Group from Fujian Province, China, visited Wei Xin Shen Jiao and met with Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi. They were invited by Wei Xin Music Hall to attend the program recording on August 31st with song title Yang Guan San Die. This is the first time we see traditional Gukian and harp playing together. After the performance, they mentioned about the culture, heritage, and development during the program recording. The professional Gukian player Zhang Jingbing, on behalf of the Longren Traditional Gukian Culture Village, Hand sell the traditional Gukian to Grandmaster Hui Yun Chan Shi. It was to praise the contribution made by Grandmaster Hui Yun Chan Shi on Chinese culture heritage and development. 
At the same time, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi also handled the Chinese calligraphy with World Dragon by his handwriting to praise dedication they made on traditional Gukan culture promotion and Chinese art development. The theme for the seventh section is tracing back the origin, venerating heaven and ancestors, resolving grievance, and returning to our hearts, forming the base of war peace. We see Shenzhou promotes the Chinese three ancestors culture and devotes merge of different tribes and war peace aggressively. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi instructed that we hope that the Chinese three ancestors descendants get together without one and another, put down the weapons without wars, and work together on war peace after the golden statue of Chiyo Emperor has been set up. Miao Research Institute set a golden statue of Chiyo Emperor. All the related administrative affairs work very smoothly by the Chinese three ancestors descendants by people from cross streets. On October 29th, the golden statue was started by Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi, who appointed Master Yuan Feng of Lujo Branch Temple leading 18 virtuous fellows in total, escort golden statue of Chiyo Emperor and travel to Guizhou. On November 4th, Master Yuan Feng, Mr. Yang, Dean of Wei Zong Nanting Culture Center, and Associate Dean An Hong of Miao Research Institute got together to expose the mantle and then set up the golden statue of Chiyo Emperor. Trace the original worship ancestors in Zhuo Lu regularly. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Xi instructed that Wei Xing virtuous fellows have to worship ancestors in Zhuo Lu regularly in order to practice filial piety, honor the heaven and the ancestors, and stabilize ancestor spirits. Recent couple years, Master Yuan Feng from Lujo Branch Temple led a group of people visited Qiao Shan Yellow Emperor Palace Hall, Fan Shen Jiu Li Shrine, and Gu Shan Yan Emperor Temple to worship Xuan Yuan Yellow Emperor, worship the first ancestor of Chinese industry Jiu Li Chiyo Emperor and to prepare for anniversary ritual of Shenong Yan Emperor and so on. In year 2016, attended people were much more than before. Abbot of Lujo Branch Temple Master Yuan Feng led a group of people including Master Yuan Meng, Master Yuan Ping, Master Yuan Ming, and Wei Xing Virtuous Fellows visited Zhuo Lu on November 11th and met Master Yuan Xia there. They together worship the Chinese three ancestors and pray for our ancestors can resolve their grievances and our Chinese descendants hand in hand, heart to heart, to achieve the war as one family. In the early morning on January 5th of the year 2017, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi arrived at Sanpao Temple to worship the Chinese three ancestors and ancestors from 10,000 surnames. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi asked us why we have to worship the Chinese three ancestors. He instructed that it was in Instructed by Wang Chan Lao Zhu, when we celebrated the birthday of Mother Earth on October 18, 2016, Wang Chan Lao Zhu instructed that the God has promulgated Shenong Yan Emperor, Xuan Yuan Yellow Emperor, and Jiu Li Chiyou Emperor were the three Chinese three ancestors. This is all the Chinese three ancestors' descendants' glory. After the completion of the 12th Chinese Nationality United Ancestors Worship Ceremony, hereafter, every year on January 1st in the future, the rite will be held in Sanbao Temple based on religious right to worship the Chinese nationality ancestors' holy spirits. The last session features the international community and Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao. Take a look. Year 2016 is a remarkable year for Weixin Shenjiao with many activities interacted with various industries, especially in education. It included the speech given by Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chen Shi to Executive Master of Business Administration of Lindong University. Attendance of September 24th invited by United Nations International Day of Peace Forum by Master Yuan Peng from Yijing University. Speech given by Master Yuan Ran to Graduate Institute of Religious Studies of Nanhua University. Tour in headquarters of Chen Jishan Xianfo Temple led by Cai Yuanlin, Dean of Graduate Institute of Religious Studies of National Zhengzhi University and learning program for seed teachers of children learn eating from Hong Kong. All these activities we have spent time on represented not only how aggressively we devoted on development of eating feng shui, but also how well relationship we connected with the other religious parties in Taiwan. Other than that, we also worked it with medical organization in Vietnam holding charity activities to help local people. 
We believe that in year 2017, Weixin Shenjiao will work continuously on more and better cooperation and development domestically and internationally than what we did in year 2016. In Chapter Four of the Dharma Treasure Series, a spiritual dialogue, Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi instructs, friends, has the sun ever stopped shining over everything in the world? Has the moon ever stopped emitting its lights? In fact, all hearts are as bright as the sun and the moon. Yet it is just we never discovered it. We aspire every global citizen to face the challenges in the coming new year with more courage and wisdom and a peaceful mind. Thank you for joining us today on Weixin English News. Every Monday at 11:30 p.m. and every Tuesday at 11:30 a.m. and 4:30 p.m. of Taiwan local time, we will be serving you the most detailed news of Weixin Shenjiao. Happy New Year of the Rooster! Wang Chan Lao Zu bless you and your family. See you next time.